Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. Uh, in this video clip we're going to have a discovery activity about reflection in a geometry class. Uh, please, uh, if you did not turn on the computer, turn the computer on, open Google, Google Chrome. That uh, browser is the best in my opinion. And uh, type in geogebra.org in your browser. If you already did so, uh, click on that uh, math uh, app, which is called Geometry. And uh, you should get something like this. Uh, this math app has two uh, region. Uh, this one where you see tools, and so far you see bas basic tools. And this one where you're going to do some... Uh, work okay uh, the first thing i want you to do is to click on that uh, tool that tool is nothing else than a line segment or just a segment um, it's going to help you to get something like that click twice on your screen um, somewhere on your right side and you get a segment like this okay then the next thing i would like you to do is to click on the next tool which looks like uh, similar to the other one. However, that is a line, right? And click again twice, you're gonna get what we call a line, something like that. Um, then as you notice already, uh, there is a choice that says more, more of, uh, tools, GeoGebra offers more tools, like this one. And now we're going to use uh, one on the bottom where you see transform right there. Uh, and that uh, tool is going to help us to reflect. If Whenever you click on it, you're going to get a message like this one. Uh, and it tells you, in fact, how you're going to do the reflection. So basically, in this case, you're going to click on the segment AB, the first object we put on the screen, this one. And then on the line and uh, you're gonna reflect that uh, segment AB over the line CD and you should get something like this now you if you notice I uh, on the right side you have another uh, button or a settings button if you click on that uh, you're gonna see a couple things First of all, you see uh, show axis, which is uh, nothing else than it's uh, a way to put axis on these uh, uh, pictures, which I'm going to do it right now. And you don't worry if you do not get the same picture. You may not get the same picture. We can adjust it later. Okay. Um, okay. Then again, I'm going to need you to click on the same button, the second choice says uh, show grid and one of the choices says major grid lines and you should get something like that. So basically right now we have a grid and an X and a Y axis. We're going to look to the reflection on a coordinate plane and an X and Y grid. Uh, there is only one problem, as you notice, on my picture and probably on your the same, uh, the coordinates are not very friendly. So uh, we have a couple choices to, to do it. The easiest way to make the picture friendly, go on your point A and B, click and drag such that you have a nice X and Y coordinate for each point. Uh, don't for, let me see. Something like that. Uh, don't, uh, if you notice here, if you notice here, uh, there is a there is a tool that I selected that uh, you should be selected in order for you to have no problem when you uh, readjust your picture. Okay, and basically now uh, what you see is a reflection over a vertical line. Um, you can pause this video clip and think, discuss if you. Uh, have uh, somebody to discuss with, a partner or partners, uh, about uh, this uh, 
reflection on this coordinate grid over a vertical line. Can, can this be done uh, over rule? Or what other method would you do if, you, uh, if a rule is not possible? Again, pause the video clip. Okay, so uh, my piece of advice for, for you to, in order to be able to do a reflection over a vertical line like this, the easiest way is to count. For example, point A, it's 11 units away from the line of reflection. Uh, if you want to find point A prime, move, keep moving to the right in this case, uh, obviously, uh, 11 uh, units and you're gonna go to point A prime uh, the same story for point B uh, counting will be a easy way to do it in this case however now my very next uh, transformation will be uh, one that uh, has a rule and I'm gonna need, ask you to think a little bit uh, and you see I already put on the screen move that CD so uh, CD overlap y-axis something like this okay uh, now the same story this is a reflection over uh, y-axis discuss with your partner uh, can you find a rule for this one I, in this case I think a rule can be written. Pause the video clip and uh, discuss, please. If you notice the coordinate of points uh, A, negative 10 and negative 2, the coordinates of uh, A prime are 10 and negative 2. The only one that changed is the x coordinate. And how did it change? Uh, by just simply uh, switching the sign. So the rule will be X, Y, switch in negative X and Y. Um, on a, uh, the easy way to remember this rule is by using an easy point and reflect it over the, the Y axis and then use the rule for uh, more points if, in case you need it. Now, as you notice, I uh, changed the line of reflection. Now, CD. Uh, the line of reflection is on top of x-axis, so basically we have a reflection over the x-axis. The same story, take a look, discuss with your partner about a possible rule. Yes, there is a rule here uh, for reflecting over the x-axis. As you notice already, the point uh, B has the coordinate negative 8 and 3. The point B prime, the reflected uh, image uh, of point uh, B, has the coordinates negative 8, negative 3. So the rule will be, think a little bit, I'll give you 30 seconds. have this rule great job uh, x y change in x and negative y uh, the same story with uh, uh, remember rule it's not uh, uh, a fun thing for you it's not fun for me i will suggest you still to 
uh, do a graphical approach for one point and then use this approach, find the rule, uh, and then use this for the other points if you need to reflect more points. Now we have another case similar to one of the first one we did. Uh, we have, in the first one we had a vertical line, now we have a horizontal line, it's not the uh, x-axis. The same story like the, the first uh, example. The best way to do reflection in this case is by simply counting. As you notice, point B is two units away from the horizontal line y equals 1 and uh, point B prime is also two units away from that uh, reflection line. Now, we do have uh, another uh, important uh, reflection on coordinate grid, which is over y equals x. And again, I said adjust your dra drawing if you need it. Uh, first of all, I will say move that uh, line CD so you can have y equals x, which is uh, right here. It bisects the quadrant 1 and 3, cuts those two quadrants in half, and then adjust your segment AB. Uh, to be easy for you to read the coordinates. The same story, take a look, uh, see if you can uh, write a rule. Pause the video clip, please. As you notice, the point A has the coordinates 1 and 5, the points A prime has the coordinates 5 and 1. So now if we want to find the rule x, y, right, if we call that 1 and 5 x, y, obviously A prime is going to be y, x. So the coordinates switch x becomes y, y becomes x. You can also use the word interchange, x and y interchange. And you can see that uh, later in some algebra class when you do inverse function. Um, and the last uh, transformation reflection today is going to be over y equals negative x, which is this uh, line, which is bisecting quadrant 2 and 3, cut in half those two quadrants. And again, you see I adjust the segment AB uh, to be easy to, for me to read the coordinates. Again, think about a possible rule uh, on this uh, reflection. As you notice, I use the point B. Uh, the point B has the coordinate negative 8 and 3. And when we reflect it over Y equals negative X, we get uh, the point B prime negative 3 and 8. So the rule here will be X, Y change into negative y and negative x. So beside the fact they switch, right, uh, x becomes y and y becomes x, also we switch the sign. If it was positive becomes negative, if it is negative becomes positive. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-squared for more uh, math video clips.